Welcome to First Word, striving to make God's Word your first priority today. This book, The Excellent Wife, though written by a different author, is the companion volume to The Exemplary Husband. It too must, is a must read for wives and will be a great source to look back to as a reference through the years. It begins with a section on a wife's understanding. The first understanding the wife needs is a biblical understanding of God. He is more than just Santa Claus or a grandfather in the sky. He is God most high, the potter while we are the clay. Once she gets a clearer view of who God is, the wife needs to come to a clear understanding of sin. Man rebelled against a holy God, but a loving God provided the only acceptable sacrifice for sin in Jesus Christ. Peace offers us a biblical understanding of our relationships, using the fellowship within the Trinity as a pattern. She then explains God's goal for marriage and the wife's role within a God-honoring marriage. The second section of the book deals with a wife's responsibility. A wife must daily be devoted to Christ as her Lord and Savior if she is going to honor God with her life and within her marriage. This means that she must remove any idols that get in the way of true worship. The writer then challenges the wife on her role as a keeper of the home. It includes a need to be a hard worker and to be a prov provide a proper, that is, a godly atmosphere within the home. Every wife must take, make a choice to love her husband, since every Christian is challenged to love one another. This will require putting off selfishness, bitterness, and fear. Not only is she to love her husband, she is also to reverence and respect her husband. This includes his position as head of the home and representative of Jesus Christ. This requires her to behave in a respectful manner, even when she has to biblically reprove him. Peace gives several biblical principles that deal with intimacy within marriage, reminding readers that God's design for sex is to be within biblical parameters. It is to be holy and good. Pleasure in sex is assured, yet it should be other-oriented, not selfish. These relations should be regular and continuous, never something that is bargained for. The final responsibility of the wife is her submission her need to fall into place within the God-ordained order of the home. It is this responsibility that is further explained within the third section of the book. She reveals that this submission is part of the protection that God provides for the wife. Her motive in being submissive is to honor Christ first and foremost. This submission will require her to control her tongue and to adorn herself with a meek and quiet spirit. The closing section of the book deals with sins that will attack and destroy her relationship. Her impatience that leads to anger must be recognized as a deed of the flesh and must be replaced with gentleness. Her anxiety must be replaced with trust in God. For those who are experiencing loneliness, the writer has an uplifting challenge. And for those who are in sorrow over a difficult relationship, she offers hope. Thank you for joining us. The First Word.